What do you think of my new tailgate trio? Come on, let's make them. How about that? Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by to see part three of my tailgate trio. Remember I made my beer cozy mitten, which I love, and the other mitten. Those were parts one and two. Now part three is my accordion beanie. It's super stretchy, fits everybody. I love this, and it has the same basic design, but it uh, is a little bit different in the stitching because it's not a, it's not for a mitten. It's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit wider, and it's a little bit a little bit everything. But generally, it's the the same idea of all this nice stretchy parts in here. So I'm going to set these two aside. I'm going to set my other mitten aside. I'll leave this guy right here. He can stay. So let's get started. So we're going to just start out with making a slip knot any way you want to. So we want to chain 41 loosely. You're going to need these later. And if they're not loose, it's a little bit more difficult to work those stitches. 40 and 41. Now we're going to turn over our chain. So we want to work in these little back bumps all along the back side. Work into those bumps loosely, and believe me, you want to work into them loosely. I made the mistake of not doing that, and it didn't work out very well for me when I was going to seam up my hat. It was so sad. So just nice and loosely, single crochet, in every back bump you'll end up with 40, and I'll meet you back down at the original tail. All right, there's 39, and there's my last one, nice and loose. We have 40 single crochets in color A, which is my obnoxiously bright pink that I love so much. So under those back bumps. We're gonna, not going to finish this one completely because we're going to change color to color B. So it's mostly done, not quite done. Let's go get my crushed raspberry. Finish that stitch with color B and then chain one so we're ready to work. Here we go. All right, for, so for the mittens, the, the uh, stitch count was a little bit different. So this was a total of 40, and now we're going to back loop only, single crochet back loop only for 35. So we're going to go in this back loop and just do a single crochet all the way down to 35. of a ridge here. Tighten those up a little bit. Do not pull these too tight down on this end. You want this to be a little bit snug. Otherwise you won't have any stretchiness left in your hat. And that's no fun. Alright, so we're going to go down to 35. I'll meet you back down here at this end. And there's 35. We should have five stitches left for color A. One, two, three, four, five. So the original was 40 and we just did 35 with color B. Perfect. Turn our work. Do not chain. And then we're going to single crochet in that back loop in that very first stitch. And now we want to mark this stitch. But since we're not chaining, it has a tendency to hide a little bit. So now we'll be able to grab that stitch very, very easily. Just save yourself the struggle. Get out your stitch markers. I am very pro stitch marker because I like to save time. All right, now we've got our first one here. Now we want to work back down this direction. 25 back loop only single crochets. So there's our first one. So we're going to do 25 and I'll meet you down there. There's two back loop only. Three, 23, 24, and 25. So there. Work back down 25. And now we're going to turn our work again. No chain. Just work right into this very first stitch with a single crochet in the back loop and mark that stitch. 
so you can find it again later. And now this time, this pass is 20 in the back loops. So that was our first one. Two and 20. So we have five loops that we not, that were not worked from the previous row. One, two, three, four, five. Hooray! All right, again, turn our work. No chain and work into this very first stitch. Pull through, single crochet in that back loop. Mark this stitch. So now for this pass, we're going to go down all these 20, all the way down to the other stitch marker. So here's the first 20 of this row. Back loop only. There's number two. There's three, four, five, six. Back loop only. Seven. And there's our marked stitch. Pull this over a little bit so we can get to its back loop. And 20. We take out that marker for now. And now we have to jog down to here. We have to get down to these previous, the previous rows. So we're going to go through this little loop that's right here at the very edge. Go through that and through the back loop of the next available stitch. And do a slip stitch. Kind of cinching that all together. And now we're going to go down the rest of these. So that was one right there. And now we're going to do back loop only, single crochets till the end. And in the very last stitch, that can go through both loops for your single crochet instead of the back loop only. If you forget or if you miss it, it really won't show that much. It won't be that different. So what we did was there's our first line of 40. This one was 35. This one was 25. And then we came back and did 20. So we did in the color A was 40, a chain 41 and single crochet of 40, and then in our next with color B we did 35, turn our work 25, turn our work 20, and then turn our work these 20 plus another 10. So there we go. Now it's time to change color back to that color A, which is my obnoxiously wonderful pink. So pull this out. We're going to finish this stitch with the pink. So we'll set aside my white a little bit. Don't do this too tightly because you want to have some stretchiness. This is the brim of your hat right here. So finish that stitch and then chain one. Return your work. And again, we're working in the back loops only all the way down. First we'll work, work to the stitch marker. and then we will jog down. And I will show you how to do that in just one second. All right, and here we are. These are the last two on this area. There's our, there's our stitch marker. We want to go in that back loop for a single crochet. We can take this marker out now. And again, we need to jog back down to this line. So find this little bump from where we turned. Go under that right there and in the back loop of the next available stitch and do a slip stitch. And now these next four were single crochet in the back loop. Oh, I'm sorry, the next three in the back loop. Nope, all four. Back loop. Because we're not quite to the end yet. So the back loop only. There was our stitch marker. Yay! Take him out and do the same little jog down again. We need to find this little bump. 
should be pretty easy to find. Go under that. In the next available stitch, go in the back stitch or the back loop only and slip stitch through all three. And then we want to continue to the end this time with the single crochets in the back loop. And in the last one, I forgot to mark it so I'm struggling. See why it's so important to mark it? I'm going to go through both loops. That's why you mark stuff. That's why I use my stitch marker. Alright, so there's that single crochet. Let's see, we did the just jog down here a little bit, but now it's a still a, it's still a nice line. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, and another pass all the way down with this color A of my obnoxiously wonderful pink, all the way down back loop only to the other end. And there's our last stitch. So we wouldn't complete that because it's time to change color again. So you finish that stitch with the color B and do a chain. So what we want to do is this and this. Section color B and the section of color A, we want to do this 13 times and I'll meet you at the other side and then we will assemble our beanie. Alright, so I have 13 sections of my color B, the white. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Now for the last section of color A, we only want to do one pass. So we've finished our stitch. Here we go. I'm going to change color again. So here I'm on these two loops. I'm going to finish this stitch with color A, which is my pink and a chain. And we're going to turn our work. We're just going to do one pass all the way down instead of two like normal. So it's still going to be the back loop only. All the way down. I'm going to make it down to the stitch marker, back loop only. Can take this marker out. Find our little back bump. Should be really good at this by now with doing 13 rows of this. And in this next available stitch in the back loop, slip stitch, single crochet in the back loop for the next four. Take that marker out, go through this little lump right here. Next available stitch back loop only and do a slip stitch. And we'll just continue down to the end. done. We just have to assemble. Turn it into a half. Right now it's just a big just a big stretchy rectangle. So we're going to turn it into a hat. So we want to have the right side which is where the right, where these ridges are so nice. This is the right side. This is the wrong side because you can see where the stitches are coming through from the back loop only with these little pink spots. Don't want that. We want this. This is on the inside, so fold this in half with the right side on the inside. Turn around so I get my working yarn. Alright, so we want to go through the very first loop on the very first stitch under both loops right here. And then on the opposite side with the matching stitch, the back loop only. And it's a slip stitch. Boom. Do that all the way down. So we're going to go through 
this entire stitch, both loops, and in the matching one on the opposite side, back loop only, and slip stitch. All the way down. I'll meet you at the other end. Every stitch will be the same till they get to the end. So underneath both loops, back loop only on the opposite side, and then a slip stitch. Right, last two stitches underneath those two loops, but in the back loop of the other side. And here's my last one here, back loop of the other side, and a slip stitch. Just pull this out a little bit so I don't lose any of my stitches. We're going to turn it back inside, right side out, so you can see that this seam is barely noticeable by doing what we just did there with the back loop only. It's almost identical. So even if you have your hat on sideways, no one will ever know. See, they look all exactly the same. This is fantastic. All right, so now all you have to do is finish this off. Any way you want to finish your things off, it's easy. I'm going to cut my pink. So that's finished off. Only thing left is to close up the top of the hat and that's why we did all of these the puffiness in here but then we reduced down up here so it's not quite as bulky I love it I love doing that so I'm going to turn it inside out so none of these little whip stitches show we are going to whip stitch it closed just like we did the tip of the, each one of the mittens let me just grab my needle really quick this goes really fast Just whip stitch around. No special way. We're going to cinch this close like a drawstring bag and as soon as we make it all the way around. Remember this is inside out right now so these stitches never show. So easy. work yourself way around, all the way around, and get back to the original tail. And there we did that. So now we just pull, like a drawstring bag. Boom. And tie it in a knot. Nice and tight. So it doesn't come back open on you. And you can take one of these ends and just whip stitch. Just do a little knot. Just to make sure it never ever 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 comes undone again. Just a quick took quick couple of loops.
All right, that's all you need. Snippy, snippy. And on these, I just tie off these in a little tiny knot and weave in the ends on the bottom. Don't do it too tight because you want the stretchiness. And tie a little knot. And then you weave these little ends in on the inside through their corresponding color. Turn them back outside, right side out. And your beanie is done. So you can wear it this way with the brim folded. Or you can leave it this way. So you can. So there's the big way, and it folds up and it fits nice and stretchy. Fits everybody. It's wonderful. So, however, you want to wear your beanie. If you wanted to, you could put a great big poof ball on top and be extra cute. So there's my beer mitten, my other hand mitten, and my beanie and I just love them. I love this whole set and they're really stretchy. It'll fit everybody. I love that part. I love that part about it. That they fit everybody. I don't have to keep track of a whole bunch of different patterns for different hands. So this is great. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel and come back soon. I have a lot of really fun stuff coming up. So great. See you soon. Bye.